Hey guys, Gaming Engineer here. Uh, we're on round four of the Nations Cup at Bathurst, Mount Panorama, um, in the Toyota Super Formula. So there was Honda as well as the other manufacturer. Um, I went with Toyota just because I wanted to. Um, and the amazing livery done by, by Benjamin, Benjo GLR19. If you want any liveries, hit him up um, and you guys can discuss your ideas. But he's amazing. He made an amazing livery for me, so I'm, I'm super grateful for that. Uh, Rugsworth. Rugworth was in my, my, my room, so I knew I was going to have a, a, a tough time. I wasn't expecting to place well or do well, um, considering I stuffed up the first race completely with the amount of penalties that I got. Uh, took a massive DR hit and SR hit, so I think Rugworth suffered the same fate because he was in my lobby for some reason, and he's super quick, so I knew he would get the lead or challenge for the lead at some point, so I wasn't expected to do well. I was just hoping to be in the top 10, and, and you know, I would have been happy. Uh, both qualifying laps I couldn't get clean laps in um, Hendo Hendo Ace I think went off track and he came back on like an idiot um, just keep an eye out on Tyler Budd by the way I'll, I'll point him out pretty soon because he does some stupid stuff but yeah Hendo stuffs up my first lap and then the ties had gone off um, so I pushed for a second and I had fourth place hit the wall and then almost hit me I slammed on my brakes so I don't lose any more SR so that cost me my lap time I was doing in the first race I did a 143 as a quali lap um, in the practice sessions I was doing a 142 and in this race I did a 146 so that's the example that I can give but anyway I was gonna make a tentative start because of all the shit show that I saw happening um, at the start of the first race where turn one just became a complete clusterfuck um, I was I was super careful very tentative just stayed down the left hand side avoided everyone I just wanted to avoid trouble I don't care where I placed after turn one as long as I made it through turn one um, and unfortunately Rugworth suffered a worse fate because he went down the middle um, and I was like oh that's a bad idea and he he paid the price for it so we're coming up to the start we're coming for turn one I just want you to pay attention to the left hand side I'm on the left hand side um, but just keep an eye out for Tyler Budd because he's the dickhead that basically caused the commotion um, by going down to the, the left hand side not breaking hitting me hitting everyone else and pushing people wide and these are the people that hit Rugworth so you see there he's come across like a moron um, and here's the replay just doesn't stop bumping everyone off off the track hits me hits everyone else and you'll see Rugworth there we go Rugworth going down the middle not the smartest move Alpha Tori moves to the right hand side and he just gets punted into the gravel um, and that was all all that all that movement was caused from Tyler Budd going down the left hand side and not breaking. He got a good start but that's not an excuse to hit people off the track. Um, I hit the brakes, I let them go by, I just wanted to save a position and not get a, a penalty um, and I said look I'll make up positions later on as long as I'm not compromised at the start. So you see I smashed the overtake just to try and build a gap to the guys behind me because the, the one fear I had, I sent it down the inside here, there wasn't any room, he closed the door, he went wide but he closed the door so yeah, that was my bad. I didn't pick up a penalty for it, so I was grateful for that, but he did go wide. I sent it down the inside. He closed the door, so it is what it is. I just wanted that replay there just in case you guys are like, what the fuck is he doing? Um, but you see, I'm just trying to build my gap to the mid-pack because that was my biggest fear. Um, and Bix, Bix Taylor does a little bit of a lock-up coming up, and then he, he puts it into the wall, um, and I never look a gift horse in the mouth, so I took that position anyway. And the guy behind me... Um, had the penalty so JT Speed so it was fine JT Speed had a penalty Biggs had a penalty and Tyler had the penalty so all in all I wasn't pushing super hard at the start I just wanted to be careful get the tires in the operating temperature save the overtake for when I needed it um, and just run my own race at this point because when I looked in the mirror I had a good gap so I just wanted to build that gap just make it as big as possible so that when I did pit stop I didn't run into any trouble. Um, so the first three laps are, are fairly straightforward, fairly boring. I was just trying to eke my way into it, trying to catch up to um, Queensland Devil Racer um, because he was miles ahead after the commotion. But I'll be back on lap four because that's when I decided to make a move and then I'll explain why I fucked that up. So enjoy for now. Thanks, guys.
So I was quicker in sector two um, than Queensland racer, double racer, um, and I could see that I was quicker. So I knew I'd gain through the S's down the hill, um, and I got a good exit out of this last left-hander um, going down to the, the back straight. Um, so I was very fortunate there, so I said, look, I can't sit behind him because I'm going to use my tyres up, and I was on the wrong strategy. But he was just absolutely amazingly respectful. I mean, I can't say thank you enough. You'll see, following him, getting the slipstream, using that overtake a little bit, pulling alongside him, again, no touching. Him and I were super respectful. This, is, this was what I love. This is what makes me love the game. I outbreak him, again, we almost went too wide into the corner, but just no touching, no argy-bargy, just gave her the fucking jandle and just sent it down the inside, outbraked him, and, and took took the lead off the race. Um, now, unfortunately, I, I stuffed the, the race up when I, I pit because I had built enough of a gap that I could have pitted and come out ahead of him, which I did. But with the cold tires, I pushed a bit too hard. He was, he was putting the pressure on smart move by him um, but I came out uh, I went too wide on the dirt and lost a bit of traction there I, I tried to cover him off up the top of the hill and I picked up a penalty for blocking him so that's how I lost the lead that's my fault I'm not gonna blame anyone else that was that was my bad um, but that's what happened there so when you guys see it you'll be like that's how Ash fucked up yeah I did um, and I'll wear that second place it is what it is. I was I was over the moon with second place. I can't even tell you how excited I was after such a tough race with the DC2, such a tough race with manufacturer. I mean, second place here just meant the world. I, I, I can't even describe it. I, I was just so happy uh, to even place within the top 10 that to get second place for me, you know, even losing the lead because of that mistake, it didn't matter. It didn't diminish the enjoyment. The, the absolute satisfaction to bounce back, to say fuck you to GT for the shit penalty system, for the stupid races. Um, you know, I, I picked up my DR, I picked up my SR, and I was just, I just couldn't believe it. I, I was just over the moon. I still am. You know, watching this replay and, and the next one that's coming, I just, I'm, I'm just so happy that I managed second place. I, 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 I can't say anything more, you know, I, I'm just forever grateful that I, I got a good lobby I got very lucky um, Queensland Devil Racer was amazing to race with super quick guy but you know respectful nonetheless uh, Rugsworth Rugworth, he was amazing too it's unfortunate what happened to him but he clawed back to third place which shows you how good he is um, all in all just a, a beautiful lobby so I'll be back towards the end just to say thank you and please don't forget to subscribe but enjoy the rest of the race I know it sounds repetitive because the sound of the video is pretty shit but it was a good race I think it's worth watching um, just to see how quick these cars are and you rely on that downforce that much that you can just fully send it give it the jandle up the hill and not have to lift so enjoy the rest of this race and I'll be back towards the end just to say thank you see you guys
So here we are on the last lap. Um, you know, I had already stuffed it up, as you would have seen um, if you stayed through the whole video. And, and I was pushing. I was pushing to chase him back. I thought maybe there might be a chance to, to snatch the lead from him. And I closed the gap down from 8 seconds uh, to the time we crossed the line was 2 point something um, on that last lap. So I, I gave it everything I had. I had nothing left after this um, physically and obviously overtaken the race. But I just, I sent it as hard as I could um, to try and catch him up. And you see, I did make some ground, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. Um, but even then, just crossing the line in second place, I couldn't be happy. It's like I won the race, actually. It felt exactly the same. I was just so, so grateful for, for a good, good result. Um, so this is race one. Actually, race two, but race one that is in the replay. Um, I have one more race to come. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that one just as much as you did with this one. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoy the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I've already got some new subscribers, so thank you very much. And I shall see you guys for the next replay. Bye.